no matter where we are, no matter what changes, we will always need warriors. I'm Ernest Emerson. I'm a knife maker. I'm a martial artist. I'm a father. I'm a husband. And affliction keeps my drive alive. Why did I start training in the martial arts? That's an interesting question because I think that there's a more basic reason than me making the decision to be a martial artist or to be interested in it. I would have to say that, that I was a fighter before I was ever a martial artist. I took the martial arts road because it allowed me to be a, a better fighter. It's just been a part of my way of life, so the martial arts just became a way for me to express that. Martial arts have influenced my knife making in that my reason for taking the martial arts was because I was a fighter. When a knife was in my hands or when I carry it in my pocket, it was primarily a weapon. My definition of a tactical knife would be a knife that can be used for any type of utilitarian purpose, but also it is primarily a weapon. If it ever had to come down to tooth and nail, that knife was going to do the job in a life or death situation. Every warrior society that's ever existed has had a strict code of conduct and honor. They all knew what great power they could wield, but they knew that it was important that all of them wield it for good. If I am a warrior, I'm very proud to be in that class. It's something that we should inspire others to attain to. It's not just about the physical, it's also about everything that you represent as an inspiration or a leader. We all learn from others. We're all inspired. Why did I see the Bruce Lee movies? Because I was inspired by Bruce Lee. I changed my entire life because of Bruce Lee. So I know what it's like to be inspired by people. If I can in some way be a good inspiration in any way, shape, or form to someone else to make them have a better life or to be a better person, then, then I'm fulfilled.